all your school rugby all in one place. This is Next Gen 50. Hello and welcome to Next Gen 15 as we continue our series looking at the top under 23 players in the world. Today we're going to be looking at the back row positions. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know whenever a new video is released. At 10, we have Ben Earl, the England back rower who's on loan at Bristol Bears from Saracens this year. A powerful and quick player, brilliant on the floor. Ben Earl is one of the most promising back row players in the world, part of a hugely strong back row setup in England that includes the likes of Tom Curry, Sam Underhill, Jack Willis, Alex Dombrant, Billy Vunapola. So many players, a number of them could have qualified for this under 23 list as well. But at number 10, it's Ben Earl. So good that Eddie Jones seems tempted to give him a run at 12 at the moment. At nine, we have Caelan Doris from Ireland and Leinster. Over the course of the past year, Doris has become a mainstay in the Ireland back row and is arguably the form player in that back row, which includes the likes of CJ Stander and Josh van der Fleer, Peter Omani. It really shows the quality of of the player and he's moving himself fast into contention for the Lions in South Africa at the end of the year. He's a powerful player but more than that an intelligent player and a good ball carrier who knows exactly where he needs to be on the field and we saw an all-action performance from him the other week in the Autumn Internationals. He's looking like a real prospect for the future. At eight Aaron Wainwright from Wales and the Dragons, a player who can play across the back row probably in the long term mostly at home in the number eight shirt at just 23, he's already been to a World Cup and Warren Gatland rates him as an almost certain lion earlier this year. He's an all-action player, strong carrier, dynamic, and probably the sort of glue player that Wales have been looking for in the back row where they've had an abundance of sort of flying open side flankers. But Wainwright really is that ball carrier, that hard-working, gritty type, really an exciting player for the future and definitely within a shout of getting onto that Lions tour. In seventh place, we have Hoskin Satoti from New Zealand and the Blues. Satoti burst into the scene over the Super Rugby Aotearoa uh, competition this year and has since cemented himself within the All Blacks squad, regularly coming off the bench to provide a real impact. He's a powerful and skillful carrier, often used in the wide channels in the same way that Kieran Reid was in the glory days of his career. And he's looking every inch as though he's going to be the number eight for the All Blacks for a long time to come. A fantastic player and a really exciting prospect. At number six, we have Jordan Joseph, the Racing 92 uncapped France back rower. Through the under 20 age groups, he's been one of the most talked about young players in the world. And I'm sure some of you at home will have him even higher on your list, perhaps as high as number one. He is incredibly powerful and dynamic. Such an exciting player to watch. And it's surely only a matter of time before he gets his French caps. If he can add a bit of subtlety to his game, he's going to become an unplayable player. He carries almost in a way that makes you think of Jonah Lomu at his peak. It's just devastating to all around him. A really, really exciting prospect and surely only a matter of time before he makes that leap into the big time international scene. At just 20, time is really on his side. In fifth, we have Harry Wilson, the Australia and Reds number eight. Just 21 years old, he already seems to have cemented his place in the Australian back row over the course of the Rugby Championship, or Tri-Nations as it is this year. He's a big hitter with huge work rate, and more importantly, he seems to be a player that you see players really flock to and congregate around whenever he gets the ball. They seem to anticipate that he's going to make ground and make an impact. A really, really exciting player and a big man too, standing at nearly two metres tall over 110 kilos, a real prospect for the future. In fourth place, we have Marcos Kramer from Argentina, recently moved to Stade Francais, so we're going to see him on the European scene a lot too. 24 caps to his name already just tells you how much of an impact he's had in his young career so far, only 23. He's a beast of a man, huge work rate, massive aggression, huge intensity all the time. Anyone who see, saw him play against New Zealand and Australia in the recent games in, in the rugby championship will will know what a player he is. Fantastic prospect for the future. He's going to be a mainstay of that Argentina back row for the next 10 years, probably. So exciting to see where he goes. Into the top three, and we look at the New Zealand and Chiefs flanker, Luke Jacobson in third place. 
Just a handful of caps to his name so far at 23 years old. Perhaps we might have expected more, but the reality is it's the only injury that's held him back so far. He's touted as a future all-black captain, a wonderful player, huge, huge work rate, kind of in the mould of a Sam Kane where you just expect him to get through a real shift every game and he never lets you down. Part of a hugely talented New Zealand back row group as well with the likes of uh, Cullen Gray, Stuplessis Kariffi and Dalton Papili who Papili could easily have been in this top 10 as well to be honest. It, it's only for the fact that there are so many talented back rows in in the world that, that he doesn't quite make this list but Luke Jacobson certainly does in third place. A fantastic player and one that we hope gets fit because It'll be a travesty if we don't get to see more of him on the international stage. In second place, we have the France back row at Gregory Aldry. The La Rochelle number eight has uh, dozens of caps to his name, and he was man of the match three times in this year's Six Nations. Pretty outstanding feat in just five games. At 23 years old, he's already cemented his place at number eight for the French team. Fantastic ball carrier and all-action player who seems to inspire everyone around him into into great things and we've all seen the, the way that Antoine Dupont has been playing at nine but the way that Aldrit and the other young back rowers are setting him up with that platform is a real part of why he's able to play so well and we do need to talk about the the young French back rowers coming through we've already talked about Jordan Joseph but there are plenty of others to think about as well the likes of Cameron Wokey who's coming through and has been just absolutely fantastic it really is a golden era for France back rowers and it's going to be very, very exciting to see them come through. We also have the likes of Dylan Cretin, who, who's got a handful of caps, mainly off the bench, but seems to be a real mainstay of the squad as well. So it's going to be a big few years for France with those back row positions and jostling to see who can who can keep them. But at the moment, Aldry is one of the best players in the world, let alone best under 23 players. So to number one, first place, and that goes to Tom Curry, the England and Sale Sharks back rower. Dozens of caps to his name already at just 23 years old. Curry is an absolute beast. There is no other way to describe him. Uh, he plays with just manic intensity. Uh, he's epic in the tackle, brilliant on the floor, just an all-round nuisance. He really does excel in every area that you might want a back rower to excel in. And that's shown by the fact that he's been capped by England across the back row even playing at number eight early on in this year's Six Nations when Billy Bunapola was injured. Curry has been a dominant player within the side and it's almost unthinkable that he wouldn't be in the England team now, which really shows what, what a player he is. And it's also worth taking a moment while we talk about him, of course, to mention his twin brother, Ben Curry, who actually was named in an England squad before Tom, but Tom's since overtaken him and and actually an injury helped Tom because it gave him the opportunity to build up in the gym. And he now weighs in at about five kilos heavier than his brother. So it's these small details that can sometimes make the difference. They certainly have for Tom Curry, who is, in our minds at least, the most exciting young back rower in the world. He really, the, the sky has no limit for him. He, he, can, he can do what he needs to. If he can stay fit, if he can keep improving, he's going to be as good as anyone England have ever produced in that back row. Just a fantastic player. And that's our top 10 under 23 back rowers in the world. If you appreciated this video, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted of any new videos that we put up. Soon to come will be our locks, props and hookers as we continue our series of the best under 23 players in the world. Let us know in the comments below who you think should have been in this top 10 or what you think of our top 10. We'd love to hear your thoughts and please make sure that you stay in touch. Head across to www.nextgen15.com That's www.nextgenxv.com to get loads more content. Thanks for watching.